Now, notoriously, you get a bit revved up on the eve of no. Cheltenham, leading up to Cheltenham. <laughs> Luckily for you, Constitution Hill doesn't seem to be that type of horse, so he looks incredibly relaxed. He can't flummox this fun. He's <laughs> extraordinary. And I think it's his greatest asset that actually races that way too. His head is better than yours and mine put together, to be honest with you. It's, he's completely unfazed by anything. Now, when they were handing out horses, how did you manage to get Constitution Hill, Jake? Well, there's a bit of a story set to be fair. So, he come uh, for a week just, just to see what he's like, and I was the only one to ride him. And I thought I was the only one to kind of feel what was underneath me. So I had a bit of a head start on everyone else. So when he then returned after his holiday, I said, I want this horse. <laughs> <laughs> bit cheeky, really, but you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? <laughs> now, come on, be t perfectly honest. Did you think he was a champion the minute you sat on him? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll answer for <laughs> No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't really. No, I didn't think he'd turn out to be as good as he, as he is. But uh, definitely he'd be special, I thought, anyway, yeah. Everyone says he's, he's so laid back, is he, when, you, when you're dressing him over at night? Is yeah, he, he doesn't do anything, Luke, honestly. I, I, you can't get him to move, nothing. You know, he is so chilled, relaxed, he's bomb-proof. You know, honestly, you can do anything you want. Absolutely anything. And have you seen him change since he's been at Seven Barrows? Has he always been the same, or is he, is he, is he maturing? Is he, you know, is he a different person? Um, he's got a bit of attitude now. I, he knows, I think he knows he's good. I think that's the thing. He knows he's good. He gives me a bit of an attitude every now and then. But oh, he might cow kick in the box or something. Oh, like yeah, he might do. Or give me a little nip here and there. Really? Like, yeah, he does. But to be fair, I don't mind seeing it because, he, you know, it's a bit of life. And every now and then, I don't mind seeing it. So it's all well and good. Has he surprised you of what he's done? I mean, I know you've always known he's good. But has he, the way that he's developed and the, the speed that he shows? Well, he does because... It, if you watched him in the morning when we were walking around the covered ride there, walking and trotting around there, every other horse would lap him. I mean, he just looks there. I mean, you would not pick him out in a crowd. Whereas, if you go back to some of the lovely horses we've had, the Sprinter Sacras and Altios and things, they just stood out. They had presence and sort of and wow factors about them. Constitution Hill just doesn't bother about anything and he looks very ordinary at anything you ask him to do. But as soon as you ask him something, it's always there. He's like a happy hacker, really, until he works, and then he just turns into something else. <laughs> is, is, he, is, I mean, is, he, is he really quick as a worker? Yeah, like he worked with First Street on Saturday, like, and First Street's a top-class hurdler, like, and he had him under pressure, and I just felt like I was in second gear. You know? Almost like a flat horse, then? Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, the boss had a discussion one day whether we should get one of Charlie Hills's up to work with him. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is, is that good? Yeah, it just it's ridiculous the things he does up there. And, and what, what's it like for everyone in the yard to have a horse like that? It's just a bit special, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? it does. And it fills you with confidence having a horse like that going into Cheltenham. Like, you know, everyone, that's where you want to have winners. Like, and to have some, some a horse like him going into Cheltenham is it's big for the, everyone in the yard, not just me, you know. Because normally you'd say with horses, oh, he doesn't like going right-handed, he, perhaps he doesn't like soft ground, but, but this horse doesn't seem to have an Achilles heel, does he? No, like they spoke about, after he won the Christmas hurdle, about him lugging off the bend, going right-handed, and they thought maybe he'd be better going left-handed. But if you go back and watch him in the Supreme, he done the exact same off the bend, turning into home at Cheltenham. It's just him, like he does it going up the gallop. You know, he's just, he likes to have a little wander about because he looks at everything, because he just finds everything too easy. When do you start tightening the screw with him for, for Cheltenham? He's done two or three good bits of work at the last few weeks. We were lucky we were on the grass last Saturday, but it'll just worry me slightly what we're going to do from here until we get some rain because it's going to hold us up. He will have an away day anyway. Where away is going to be, I really don't know because all the race courses are the same, but it, it actually, in all probability, will when we always have done Barney, Clifford kindly lets us go and have a spin round on the all weather at Kempton, which I enjoyed doing actually about a fortnight before with anybody that hasn't had a run for a length of time, like the ones that are run this weekend. But you know, John Bomb won't need to, and Epitome won't need to, but Constitution Hill will, and it'll do him good. You mentioned John Bomb. What did you make of that run at Warwick? I'm I'm scratching my head a bit. Well, I was at the time. I was, blimey, what's happening? In reflection, I'm taking positives out of it rather than negatives. I think it'll do him good. I think it gave him a shock, and I think it was a, a short, sharp shock that'll actually just wake him up a little bit. 
no, not criticising Aidan, I think they'd probably both just got into a nice rhythm and they were doodling around. And then suddenly Harry goes and... He tries to steal it, didn't he? Swoops on him like a yeah. buzzard trying yeah. to grab a mouse, you know, and the next thing is he's four lengths in front and heading for home. The first time he's had a wake-up call, and it was, and I hope it will have done him good. It'll, you know, it'll sharpen him up. He had a really good blow. He still looks actually this morning. He still well, looks. I showed, sort of... That's why I was showing him like that because he's he's a burly horse. He looks magnificent. You can look too magnificent sometimes. I expect we'll all lose a bit of weight between now and then. <laughs> he's got to. I haven't. <laughs> um, I know I Epitont. <laughs> I know Epitont's won a champion hurdle, but she's to me seems better this year than she's ever been. Well, it's funny. She had a great year last year. She won three Grade Ones last season. You know, we said we'd stick to last year's plan, fighting fifth Christmas hurdle. It was only bad luck because I couldn't run Constitution Hill at Ascot originally in the Ascot hurdle because it was the ground was too quick. So I had to switch him to Newcastle, which was bad luck on Epitont because I'm afraid he ran all over her. And then <laughs> same thing happened at the Christmas hurdle. The nice thing about her getting, she found a, I found a lovely mare's grade two for her. She comes out and absolutely slaughters them, which actually all it goes to show is that is what Constitution Hill is beating, yeah, yeah. a horse that can actually just saunter through a grade two. She's as good as she was. Now, where we go, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I did talk to JP yesterday, and we haven't made our minds up. She did prove last year, and she won the, the, the two-and-a-half-mile hurdle at Aintree that she does stay two-and-a-half. Originally, there would have been a certain amount of doubt about that. I thought she was all speed, but two and a half round Cheltenham is quite a bit stiffer than two and a half round Aintree, obviously. Um, but on the other hand, chasing Constitution Hill isn't that much fun. No. And there's more than Constitution Hill, you know. I mean, Willie's horse looked jolly good at, at Dublin. Yeah. Um, when you all Willie's did. And 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 th talking of the mayor's hurdle, I suppose you you could add into that Marie's Rock. And Theatre Glory, who, who looked very good on Saturday. Well, Marie's Rock, she won it last year and she was impressive mm. and she was very impressive at, uh, on New Year's Day at Cheltenham. It is possible that we move her up to three miles. She's never been three miles, but she's always got two and a half really well around Cheltenham, so another three or four furlongs, I hope, might not make any difference. I talked to Tom Palin, who manages Midland Park quite a bit, you know, when we, we don't have to make a decision at this stage. You know, we can juggle these around with, to be fair, Epiton and Theatre Group both need supplementing for the mares. That's actually not too much. The, the supplement for, for that, thank the Lord, is not very expensive. If I've got Shishkin totally wrong and I have to switch you back to the two-miler, that is rather more expensive. So we'll have to see what happens there. And, and what about Buzz? Is it, how's he? Well, he, he's actually great, but we haven't got a run in, and I'm not going to get a run no. in. I think it would be an awful stiff task to ask him to go and do something like that after the injury he had, that he fractured his pelvis. I would be more inclined to try and get some sort of race into him around about that time. Where on earth am I going to find a race? I don't know, because there won't be one. And then have him ready for entry, the three-miler there. But we'll see. He, things are going well, I must admit, touch wood. Lucia has been a star all season, but she looked very, very good at Exeter. Yeah, that was great. It was fun. We had a good day. Uh, but she looked very, very good, didn't she? Um, and, yeah, she just goes straight for the mayor's office, along with a horse with no name who was second in it last year. So we'd be quite strong there, I'd hope. And on, on the same day, walking on air, what, what's the plan with that one? Um, he will go per temps. We're, we're going to do a mullins here. We're going to run five, I hope. Oh, what, what, what else have you got in the per temps then? Well, oh, steal a march. Steal a march for the royal family. That should be nice. And Captain Morgs, he's been doing very well. Call me Lord. Qualified three times. I think you ought to get a medal for that. <laughs> and uh, Scarpia, who qualified the other day, might not get in actually. But um, no, they'd all it, it, they'd all have a they'd all have realistic chances. Another horse with realistic chances, uh, Balco Coastal. 
who looked very good last time. I thought he was good. I know he got, he, he got beaten. He got outstayed, didn't he? I think I could have him a little bit sharper than that. OK. He'll have to be, because, to be fair... Did he just go for his curse a bit? Did he yes, just, he did. Because that's what it, it, it looked like to me. In the second last, yeah. he quick and clear, and then he, he did exactly that. And then the other horse got back at him, having looked as if we'd got him beaten. Mm. But he, he actually outstayed us. But I think we just had a good blow. Mm. And I'm hoping, you know, he will have to have come on a fair bit to be realistically fanciful. But uh, I like him. He's going the right way. There's no doubt about that. I'm afraid you've got a couple more to go. You shouldn't have so many good horses. Um, City Chief in the in National Hunt? No, I think we'll leave him behind. Okay. He was very good at Weatherby the other day, winning that... It was a grade two, wasn't it? Yeah. And he, he did that really well. I mean, I, I wouldn't think it was the strongest race in the world, but he's going the right way. But I don't think he's ready for this yet. Okay. I'd rather leave him out of it. But Mr. Coffey would come into the National Hunt chase, yes. Um, definitely. Derek O'Connor? Well, that was the, you know, he rode him on yeah. Saturday. He got beaten. I, I sort of have to say, I. he could probably have won that, to be fair. Things didn't go quite according to plan. Um, and it's always been the idea that he'd run in that. He'll stay, he gallops, he jumps, he has to go left-handed. Um, so we brought Derek over to sort of get to know him, and no, that was good, except he got beaten. <laughs>